and welcome back to Crafting with Tabitha. As you can see, these are my birds. The green, yellow, and black one is Jonathan, and the white and gray one is Birdie, and I've had them for, I think, about two years now. Um, this is their little cage. See how it's the greenish color? And back over here is the new bird toy. I just made them. I don't know if you guys can see it. See the new bird toy right here? And then they also have another bird toy over here that I made for them a little while back. It's right here. This little beaded one right here behind the, the cage. It's just made out of rope and, or actually some string and beads. But yeah, those are my birds, Jonathan and Birdie. And today I am going to do a different kind of review. Let me see if I can get this set up. I do not drink, but my brother-in-law gave me this because I asked for it. Because to me, it almost reminds me of a Victorian um, perfume bottle. So that's what I'm going to make out of it. So it's a alcohol bottle, but it has this really cool cork that's wood. And... I found these pictures that I want to try to put on here. This is a lady from Pompeii. Picture of Pompeii. These came out of an old history book. And I also have this one. It's like a statue. I thought, you know, it'd be Victorian like. I like Victorian stuff. And then I have these little gems or little sequence jewels that you can get at Walmart. I have this one for the top of the bottle. And I have some blue and white ones that I'm going to paste around. I have some scissors. Some regular school glue that you can get from the dollar store or Walmart. I like to use tacky glue too, but I couldn't find my tacky glue at the moment. And then I have this blue ribbon. So what we're going to do is I thought this would be a really fun thing to make a Victorian type. Um, let me see if I can set this up better. A Victorian type... Um, perfume bottle so that's what I'm gonna try to do with it to put like on a real pretty makeup stand or something so okay making sure I'm still in view so I'm gonna head go ahead and uh, take this picture that I would like I have a pen so I can just kind of like put it here fill around and making like a Try to get the impression of the bottle so I can cut it out evenly. Okay, so we'll cut that out. You could put any kind of picture there. I just thought this looked really interesting and old. And that's the kind of look I'm going for is like an old Victorian thing, you know. So I'm just going to take my regular school glue. And we're just going to go ahead and see if this is even open. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sometimes they have a little plastic thing in there. So we're just going to go ahead and take our school glue. Put it right over this label. You can make your own perfume or you could buy your own perfume or you could just put some colored water in there or leave it, you know, just the way it is if you want. It's mostly for decoration. So, for me anyways. So, you just put your little picture on there. Tap it down. And this glue always dries clear so you don't have to worry about it. See, that looks really pretty already. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and kind of tap it down. Okay, and then for the top up here, I'm going to put this ribbon. It's really pretty blue ribbon. I'm going to put it around the, the base of the label up here and cover that. So let's go ahead and... Turn our bottle around to the back. 
And I'm going to put some glue right here and see how this works. I've never done this before, but I just thought this would be really something really cool to do for like a makeup stand or something. If you like the Victorian stuff, I like Victorian stuff. I always have I like older things, antiques and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this blue ribbon around it. Trying to be careful so it doesn't come off. And then, oops, I just messed up my picture. Okay. And I'm not worried about the glue that's on the jar because it comes right off. It's pretty much see-through when it dries. <clears throat> and I'm going to trim off some of this. There we go. Wipe off that. A little bit to kind of like make it where it's not gonna come off. So so far <clears throat> we have our our bottle that has the ribbon and see how pretty this little cork is. It's like wood and it's already painted the color I like it. And you can paint it whatever color you want depending on what color ribbon and what color you know, picture you're going to do. This is already a naturally blue bottle. So I thought I'd do blue, you know, around it and stuff. And then here's our picture. Came out of an old history book, which I, you could also get, you know, old books that you find at the thrift store or something. If you, you know, if you want to do something crafty and cut up, you know, old pictures and stuff. Um, you can either leave the back like this with the original label or I also have this other picture. It's like a statue. So you can um, try not to mess up the other picture. You can put that on the back if you'd like. You know, cut it out and put it on the back. But I'm going to just focus on the front first because it's still wet. I don't want to mess it up anymore. I'm trying to, you know, fix this part. And then I got these really pretty little sequins jewels. That I'm going to use. I have white, yellow, and blue. These are just ones I found in my beads that I have. I ha I bought these at Walmart. They're maybe I think a dollar a pack, but you get a lot of them in there. So I'm trying to lay them out so you guys can see the different colors. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. I'm trying to get over. So anyways, um, I'm going to take this really pretty, if I can get it, yellow type bead. And I thought it would be pretty to put up here. So I'm going to put some glue, try to put it in the very middle. And then put your bead, oops, put your bead up there. You can also do this with a hot glue gun. I also have a hot glue gun, but I just wanted to do this for right now. If it comes off later, I'll probably do it with a hot glue gun. But so far, that's see how pretty that is? So, and then I thought I'd take these little littler sequence ones and either glue them around the edge of the, the picture, or you can also, you know, put them around the ribbon if you want. So I gotta let this stay a little bit because it's trying to come off. I don't want it to move. So so far, you see, this is what we have so far. We got our old picture on our bottle with our jewel at the top. There you go. You can see that. It looks really cool so far. So now let's see. I could try to glue some of these little jewels. My tripod up here so you guys can see. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna take these little jewels, start with a blue one, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. You can do this with tweezers too if you like, but I'm just gonna use my hands. 
my birds are singing in the background or chirping. And you put little jewels around it. It's probably easier if I do it like this. I want to space them a little bit because I don't want them too close to each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the beads of glue where I want them. And this glue dries clear, so it's okay if you get, you know, messy with it. It's not going to ruin your look. <clears throat> I'm trying to space them evenly. You can also get some alcohol rub too. If you don't want this glue like this on the side, you can just rub it off later with some alcohol rub. It'll come right off. Or some soapy water because all this is pretty much a knockoff of Elmer's glue. So, so anyways, um, let's get a white jewel this time. And just place it there. A blue jewel. And do a pattern. A white jewel. Oops, didn't get that one. Kind of lick your finger a little bit. And there we go. Put a blue jewel. And a white jewel. And just keep going around like this. And... I'm almost done now. See? And there we have, let me see if you guys can see this. Sorry. Okay, so there's the front. I'm trying to get the glare off. Here we go. My one jewel is trying to slip. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, let's fix that jewel. This is why you gotta let it dry because I've been moving it and it just wants to go everywhere. But see, look how pretty that is already. And that's just a recyclable jar that, you know, is an alcohol jar. You could put perfume in that or whatever you want, you know, and put it on your nightstand. Be really pretty you know or in a bathroom or in a window or on a bookshelf you know depending on how you like to decorate and I just thought that would be a really fun project to do and even if you want you can let all this dry and you could take that clear Krylon spray that I had in the previous video and you could spray the top to give it like a waterproof finish which I probably will do so that it doesn't get damaged because it looks, you know, old and cracked and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, I mean, you can do all kinds of things and recycle and have fun, you know, doing them. Oops, sorry. There's the jar. It looks really pretty, I think. So that would be really pretty in a bathroom window or on a shelf or a mantle or on your dresser for just decoration. You can do a lot with this kind of stuff. You can even, if you wanted, you can even make this like an olive bottle for your kitchen. You know, you could put some olive oil in there, wash it out really good, clean it out, put some olive oil in there, and some herbs, you know. Be really cool decorative thing. So, um, and again, these are my little birds. Jonathan and Birdie. And you can see the little toys in there. Thank you so much for watching Crafting with Tabitha. I hope that you enjoyed this little idea that I had. Um, I hope it inspires you guys to do, you know, some sort of decoration at your house. Um, I like to collect really interesting bottles because I think they're really cool. And this one's got like little natural bubbles in it. So I thought it was really pretty. But you could put whatever kind of liquid you want in there. And, um... Your, you know, your own little touch to it if you wanted. Um, I'd also like to shout out my two oldest daughters' um, channel. It's called um, The Unconditional Sisters. They like to do challenges on there. And uh, also my husband's channel. He does MREs and reviews of foods and things. And his name is The Blogger. 
So go ahead and check out those two channels and thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching this video. And I will be back with some more ideas pretty soon and I already got a couple in mind. Um, this is one of them that I really wanted to show you guys because I thought it was kind of cool to try to do. You guys can, you know, do anything like this and recycle. I like to use things that I find. Um, I look at things all the time and think, hmm, I wonder what I can make with that. So, anyways, I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering and let you guys go. And thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Thank you. Bye.